Time right now to bring in Ruth Epstein, uh, our uh, intrepid uh, <laughs> correspondent who, uh, of course, covers our area for the Republican American. Uh, stories available at rap-am.com. And also, uh, uh, you can get the newspaper at newsstands and home delivery. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Marshall. Strange times. Uh, very, very strange. I, uh, strange times. You know, I, I, I posted the signs up out the front and back that this uh, this office is closed to the general public. Um, oh. Because mm-hmm. there's only a few of us in here and we can't afford to get sick. You sure can't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and uh, we're still get, gathering news. Uh, we can't stop, but it's certainly on a abbreviated basis and strange well it, um, it is uh, you know and and it's interesting us uh, you know the schools in massachusetts are closed for three weeks to, there's uh, all restaurants have to become either takeout or curbside delivery in massachusetts as oh well. really no yeah uh, mm-hmm. that's going to happen here soon too probably uh, yeah well we have a we have a, a lot of uh, businesses that are already doing that we have a special thing that uh, people can go to uh, our uh, on-demand page uh, well actually if you if you just go to RobinHoodRadio.com, we have a link up with all the coronavirus uh, oh. information. And then on our Facebook page, we have a, a link that shows you all the businesses that are offering takeout or curbside delivery. Uh, wonderful. Well, you provide a great service. That's wonderful. Um, but, yeah, it's tough. Uh, certainly feel for these businesses and what's going to happen to them. And and especially when you hear uh, uh, from from actual health agencies that uh, the height of this might last as much as two months. Right. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a definite change in life for everybody. It certainly is. And, uh, but we've always gotten through before. We'll get through now. But we just have to follow the regulations and the rules. And don't be, you know, don't hoard, don't do, you know, things that make it any worse. But, uh, and just stay home if you can. Yeah, well, you see, in California, I'd be in big trouble because in California, uh, anybody 65 or older is a man- mandatine self-quarantine, mandatory. Mm. 65 no, or I'd older. I'd be in trouble, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Way <in> trouble. <laughs> but we had a busy week last week. Of course, most of the news was focused on the schools because that's where the inf- a lot of the action was taking place. Of course, uh, Region 1 schools are closed. Teachers are going in today. To learn how to do distance learning, and uh, where, has the non-certified thing ever worked itself out? I'm well, not sure. Well, the school hasn't responded to me yet, but like I said, uh, I that was a call that was made on on Saturday, so we'll see what happens. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, so we're not sure where that stands. Whether the non-certifieds have to go in, and and if not, don't get paid. There was an issue about that. Um, but I would assume we're, we're closed at least for two weeks. I'm sure it's going to go longer, um, all the schools. Um, uh, along those lines, there were meetings last week. Uh, the, the superintendent search has started, as you know. Uh, our superintendent, Pam Vogel, is leaving at the end of the school year. The ABC committee has the one in charge of uh, looking at replacements. A uh, couple of people didn't think we should do a search. They thought Lisa Carter should just be put into the job. Others said no, no. And so uh, they will be doing a search, and they're looking for a consultant to help. Uh, there are RFPs out uh, to the two consultants that were mentioned, and they'll be uh, talking to them um, who knows when. I mean, there's a meeting scheduled for the 25th, but I don't know if that's going to stay stable. Um also, in Canaan, we have a lot of zoning issues. The ban on uh, the moratorium on boarding houses. Um, there was a meeting, and no uh, definitive measures were taken. Um, they're going to continue looking at that and seeing uh, what they're going to do. Uh, there's also the issue of two neighbors who are disputing down on the lower road about a um, one neighbor claims there's a uh, illegal business going on. The other neighbor said, no, it's not. So uh, now the lawyers have gotten into it, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, Also in Canaan, the Board of Finance expressed concern with uh, its large number of tax delinquents numbering, the figure is numbering close to a million dollars. And so uh, the Board of Finance uh, uh, was concerned, and the 
tax collector will be working with the Board of Selectmen to look at the names and see if they can target some people uh, and, and that they know can pay or however. They're going to work on that issue. Uh, over in Sharon, they were concerned about uh, a trailer uh, and a skid steer uh, that's sitting on Drum Road, which really is an eyesore. I took a ride up there, and uh, it's against the abandoned vehicle ordinance that was passed a few years ago. Uh, and once again, the lawyers probably are going to get involved in that case, but uh, the town is happy with the ordinance that they put in and said a lot of success has been made so far. So lots of news went on last week. But, now, uh, I, I question, you know, today there's a, a meeting of the Region 1 Board of Education subcommittee at 9 o'clock this morning. Really? Yeah, uh, and I wonder, uh, and, and I'll ta- here's what we have scheduled for today. There's that, and then there's the Salisbury Board of Education at 5.30. Mm. And with schools closed, I, 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 I'm, I'm making these announcements, but I'm, I'm telling people, uh, try to really call ahead and see if yeah. they're on. Cause it's, and I don't know if uh, uh, Congressman Johanna Hayes, her, she was going to have people come to uh, Falls Village on mm-hmm. Tuesday. Uh, from 10 to 1 to answer questions. And once again, call ahead and find out because Absolutely. All, anything that was scheduled for this week, uh, whether it's a, it's a school board meeting or a town meeting, uh, call ahead. Make sure. Uh, the Canaan Board of Finance had its two meetings this week scheduled to talk budgets. That was can- Those and, were canceled. And they've postponed that. that they think That's it's April 7th. Yeah, and they'll have both meetings on the same, same night. night to discuss both budgets. Uh, I don't know. The finance board is supposed to meet in Sharon this yeah. week and in Cornwall. Oh, there's uh, a whole bunch of meetings scheduled for this week. Uh, uh, but you're right. Make sure you call ahead because um, – and the Falls Village Town Hall is closed to the public. Um, and I would assume some of the other town halls will do the same. Most of the libraries are closed, uh, so be sure you're right. Call ahead and <laughs> see what's happening. Uh, I would – venture to guess that most things are just going to halt for the next couple of weeks. And uh, senior services, uh, if you don't have Meals on Wheels and you go to your senior uh, l- luncheon centers, yeah. call up and get meal- Meals on Wheels uh, because um, yeah, no most, of those, get- most of those mm-hmm. uh, sites are not going to be doing that. So if you, if, if you count on that for meals, uh, Meals on Wheels, uh, you can call up and find out uh, 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 about that because that's the only way that you're going to get you're going to get those meals. And uh, I assume the schools are going to do something for the kids who need food. That's that's also uh, up as well. That's part of the executive order from the uh, from the from the governor that they have um, to provide. Yeah, something. So um, somebody will be there at the schools to give those out out those meals. He, well, from the governor, the governor said online education programs are being developed. Meals should still be available for students who receive them at schools throughout assistance programs. So ah, okay. once again, Good. contact the school and find out. I assume they're working on that today to figure out the logistics. Since yeah, the, the Falls Village. Everybody's there. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, so all these senior centers and stuff like that, you just have to you just have to call ahead and check. And if, if it's not available there, well, then uh, you can get Meals on Wheels. And if, if you want to get Meals on Wheels, the Western Connecticut Area on Aging telephone number is 203-757-5449. And you can set up Meals on Wheels home deliveries, 203-757-5449. All this is up uh, on our – if you go to our homepage and click on Every Day We Update It, today it's called Coronavirus Update, March 16th. You can click on that, and you'll have a full list of, uh, of announcements. Wonderful. That's real public service. Thank you for that, because there are people who do not have enough food. And, Absolutely. Uh, any help we can, you can give them is, is wonderful. All right, Ruth. So, as we said, strange times, and we'll continue to follow everything that's going on and keep people updated. We did have a story today about... Uh, the trip to Broadway that the kids took last yep. week, uh, there was some concerns, and uh, I did talk to Principal Strever, so that story is in. And uh, I think everything we talk about is going to be in some way uh, involved with the well, virus. With the coronavirus, absolutely. Yeah. Well, stay well. Be right, careful. You, you we'll too. Talk. You and Ed, take care of yourselves. Yes, thanks. You too. All right, Ruth. We'll Bye-bye. next week. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with the Republican American Report here on Robin Hood Radio.